Hello everybody, welcome again to the English first class. Today we are going to study the student book. I will say some content that we have to do on the student book. And we are going to practice our listening and our reading skill. And I need to you try to complete the exercises. Remember that we, ha we don't have a limited time to complete the, those exercises, but you have to do it. Try to do it. Any question, you can contact me on my YouTube channel, or you can send me an email to oscar 020189 at gmail.com, and I will respond to all your questions. Very important to reinforce the message that we are not going to have a limited time. You can um, do the activities when you can do. And um, you can send me an email to, to if you want to me check out your, your work. Uh, well, on page 22, what we have? We have the history about Marco Polo, a great explorer. The first instruction says, scan the text and find the name of a countries. Well, what are the countries that we are going to discover? Here we have the text or text. I will do this. And it says, Marco Polo was a famous explorer. He was born in 1254 in Venice, Italy. That is the first, the first country that you are going to write on this part, yeah? Italy. Continue. Let's say, traveling was difficult and dangerous all the time. So very few people went on long journeys. Marcos' father was a merchant. And away from home a lot, so Marco didn't meet him until 1269. In 1271, Marco traveled with his father and uncle to the Far East on a journey that covered 24,000 kilometers and took 24 years. First, they sailed to Iraq in the Middle East. Then they traveled by horse, by camel, and on foot over the high Pamir Mountains in Sahistan. We have different countries, Sahistan, here, and Iraq. And across the wide Gobi Desert in Beijing, China. Uh, we have another country. You are going to write all the countries, all the countries here from this paragraph. This part of the journey took three years. They stayed in China for the next 17 years, where they were guests of the great emperor Kublai Khan. Marco was very smart and spoke four languages. The emperor liked Marco and set him sent him on a trip around his spy, his spy empire. Marco saw many incredible things, amazing, amazing, let me see because I cannot see, amazing cities, beautiful palaces, and wonderful Yewa. He was probably the first European to see porcelain, coal, printing, kites, and paper money. He also saw elephants, tigers, and rhinos. Look at here, rhinos, which he thought were unicorns. In 1295, the Polos finally returned to Venice. On their return journey, they passed through Vietnam, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, and India. The trip was very dangerous, and of the 600 passengers, only 18 survived, including the Polos. Marco broke a book about his experiences and later became a wealthy merchant. Imagine how it was difficult to travel on that time because from 
600 people, only 18 survived. Well, and what we have after, I wanna you check this. We have a reading comprehension question. It's very important that when you read, try to read two times and after read the question to check it out what you, do you understand. The number one says, year Marco Polo was born. And here we have the answer, yeah? Year he left Venice, it's like here. Total distance travels, time away from home, language spoken, and year he returned to Venice. Well, we continue with the second page that we have to develop um, on this week. We have the page 23. It says, listen and match the picture with the place's names. Please. Is the track 15? Track 15. Listen and match the pictures with the place names. In 1271, Marco Polo started his journey to China. This is his diary. Baghdad, Iraq, Here. 1272. We're here buying goods to take to China. We bought some beautiful carpets in one store. Carpets. Afghanistan, 1272. Afghanistan. The journey across the desert was hard. One night, some bandits took our horses and our food, but they didn't take our gold. Here. Pamir Mountain, yes, sir. 1273. We walked through the mountains. They were cold and dry. We saw some wild horses and some yaks. Here, Jax. Gobi Desert, 1274. We bought camels for the trip across the desert. We met some shepherds and they gave us food. Camels. Beijing, 1274. At last, we've arrived in Beijing, the capital of China. We are staying with the great Khan. He is very kind to us. His palaces are beautiful. Here. Well, as you can listen, this class was very easy because we have to check it out and match only the picture with the places that Marco Polo visited. As you can see, the map here is very important to show. He travels to all these countries. And remember that he took 17 years to travel from Venice to China. And he met a very important emperor in China that was Kublai Khan. If you can investigate about Kublai Khan, you can uh, text, you can type some messages about him on my YouTube channel. Well, this was the class for this week. It was very easy. Some of you already sent me the information that you have to complete on my YouTube channel or on my email. And also you have to work on practice book. Remember that the practice book is a tool to um, reinforce this content. Well, that's all. Thank you very much. Les repito nuevamente, no hay límite de tiempo. Eh, ustedes pueden hacerlo a su manera. Por favor, tómense su tiempo. En el ordenador de tarea ya vamos a verificar qué actividades les vamos a evaluar. Son actividades muy fáciles. Y, y espero que si alguna pregunta la tengan, pues se contacten conmigo. Pasen un feliz fin de semana y nos veremos o nos escucharemos la próxima semana. Thank you so much. Bye bye.